I just cannot believe it. When I found out about this, I said, no, absolutely not. This cannot be real. No one would ever do anything like this. But I was wrong. Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. Something that's meant to be enjoyable. Summertime and fun. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. A five-cent package makes two quarts of... Drink the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. Wednesday afternoon, this Brightmoor block was full of Kool-Aid smiles. But Tuesday night, not so much. I've lived on this block over 20 years. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Some bad boys were hanging out on Lamphere in front of this old abandoned school building. There were a few other fellas in front of this house across the street. And there were some verbal blows being thrown from both sides. The initial argument from my understanding began over Kool-Aid. Hey, Kool-Aid! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, is right. Several Detroit cops confirm that two of the dudes from the two crews were fighting over who makes the best Kool-Aid. But the tongue lashings turned into a gunfight. And they started shooting at each other. Over Kool-Aid. I, I don't know what to say. I know, right? Can you believe this? The two young men pulled out their pistols and opened fire. But they both missed their intended target. They ended up hitting two other guys. One in the wrist, and the other took a bullet to the butt. I just don't understand the, some of the kids today. I just don't get it. Some people ain't got much to live for, so the smallest arguments turn into the biggest things. The way people are, it doesn't take very much. You look at this, you think what? That's a ridiculous thing to fight over, yeah. And if this is our future, it is scary. Both of the people who were shot are just kids, 17 years old. They were both released from the hospital and doing just fine right now. Police are still looking for their shooters, though. One of them took off in a purple 2007 Chevy Impala. Fuel. Now, this is outrageous and also sad, Andrea. We've never seen anything like this before, but what are police saying about this? Sadly, Huel, they say they've seen worse. And one of them told me today that he thinks it's because guns are as easy to get as Tic Tacs, and so many young people have no idea how to solve their problems other than grabbing a gun and shooting. It is a sad, sad state of affairs, my friend. Hopefully, somehow, some way, these kids can learn something from this big mistake. Let's hope so. All right, Andrea, thank you. you